All right, welcome to Math 123 uh, using Newton Alta for the homework, quiz, and exams. Uh, so the point of this video is strictly to talk about how that looks inside Canvas and what is Newton Alta. So first things first, you will access Alta directly inside your Ivy Learn account. So you'll see I'm in module one. Um, and then you see down underneath the videos, um, all of these things that have numbers in front of them, as well as the quiz. So these are all noon Alta assignments. Now with Alta, we have four things. We have adaptive assignments, static assignments, quizzes, and exams. And I'm going to talk about all four of those. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the adaptive assignment. Now, what that means is that it's okay if you have forgotten some math, right? It's math is one of those things. If we don't use it, we lose it. Okay, so we're all coming into this course kind of at different levels of what we remember. Last time we did math, where we're at. All of that is okay. So when you start using Alta, it's, I call it the Alta brain, is going to determine where you are, and then it's going to help fill in any gaps that you might have from just forgetting things. Um, and then it's going to get you where you need to go, so you're going to be successful in this course. So everybody's experience in the adaptive assignments is going to be a little bit different just depending on your math background. And all of that is good. So what does this look like? So when I click into, I believe 2A is an adaptive assignment. So the first time you click in, it's gonna have the name at the top. Um, you're gonna have a start button. We could review some instruction. And if I scroll the way down, it's gonna tell me what I'm working on in this particular assignment. So this assignment has two objectives and our goal is to master these objectives. So I'm gonna hit start. Now, um, this means that uh, you don't have a set number of problems. You could do eight, you could do 48. Just depends on where you're at. Um, you don't wanna guess because if you guess wrong and you guess quickly, the, si the system is gonna say, whoa, you don't know what you're doing and your experience is going to be longer. So it makes sense to really like put in some time. So we have a question in this case, we need to put a ratio. I'm just gonna guess maybe one half um, and I click submit. Now you'll see that that's not right, but this is a free response question. So I have a chance to put something else in. Maybe it's three over 45 and I can hit submit again. Um, after I'm wrong twice, it's going to walk me through the, not just the answer, but how to get this answer. Okay. And then I hit continue and it takes me to the next question. Now in the top right corner here, you see this mastery with this empty bar. As I start getting questions right, that bar is going to fill in. If I get questions wrong, it's going to back up. The goal is to get to 100%, okay? Now, you can quit before then, but we really would like to get uh, 100%, right? So if I would put this in, oh, 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 I'm struggling. Okay, um, oh, that's not right. Okay, well then I, maybe I don't know what it is. So I just gonna hit submit twice. Again, it gives me the detail and this is what it does. We just go through, um, but I might get to one where I'd be like, okay, this one I believe is two over one. That's right. So you can see that it's right. It still tells me what the response is. And now you can see my mastery bar has filled in a little bit. At any point in time, you can click down. It will show you the objectives in and how far. So like I'm, I'm pretty far in right ratio as a fraction, not as far as using ratios in applications. And this kind of keeps track of where you're at. So if I would quit right now, I would have a 15% on this homework assignment. Um, but you just keep hitting, uh, typing in your answers, and then hit submit, and it goes through. It will tell you when you're done, okay? So again, the goal is to work to mastery. Mastery is 100%. At any point in time, if you're stuck on something, you just feel free to send me an email. Notice how every assignment has a specialized number. It's not just assignment two, it's 2A, 2B, 2C. And I can see everything that you're working on. So if you are struggling in this, you can send me an email that just says, Becky, I'm struggling with 2A. You know, let's, can we meet and, and, and get some help? And we can totally do that. Or I can look at what you've been doing and send you a quick email or whatever. Um, but feel free to ask for help with that, okay? So that's the adaptive assignment where everybody's experience is different um, and it just depends on kind of where you're coming in, right? And all of that is okay. All right, so let's go back into modules. Um, 
let's see, let's go back to modules um, and go back into, I think 2C is what we call a static assignment, okay? So static assignment simply means um, it's not adaptive. You will see that you have four attempts. Now, in I know that it's an assignment because it has a number and a letter. So 2C means it's a homework assignment. Even though it says quiz, this is counted in the gradebook as homework. Okay, now you have four attempts and each attempt is exactly the same. So you're gonna know when you finish which ones are right, which ones are wrong, and then you can go back and check. So let's go ahead and look at this. Let's just hit start. So we have, I'm just going to go through and just click. Um, okay, so ob oh, there's five questions. Obviously I didn't read any of them. I submitted my answers and I got a 20%. So I got one right. So I can hit view results and it will show me, um, okay, one, I didn't get right, two, no, no. I got number five right. So obviously you as the student will have a piece of paper next to you and you will be doing all of your work and you can say, okay, five is right. So I know that that answer is parked to whole, but one to four, those are different. And so I need to like go back and like rework them or whatever. Um, again, you only have four tries. So if you get to the third try and you still don't have them all right, feel free to email me and say, Becky, I'm on 2C. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And we can talk about it. Um, but you, the point of giving you four tries is so that you can look at the first try, see what you did wrong, revamp, try again, um, because it's a learning process, right? We're not trying to penalize you for getting things wrong. That's why we're giving you four tries. Okay. All right. Um, let's go back to the modules. So that's the static assignment. And then we have quizzes. Quizzes are going to look very similar to the static assignment, except one, they're quizzes, so they count in the quiz category, and you only have two tries on quizzes, okay? Um, yes, and quizzes are timed. And you might think that that's very jerky of me uh, to time them, but the thing is, your exams are timed. So we give you the quizzes as a time to kind of start practicing for the exams, okay? And then the exams are gonna look very similar to quizzes. We will talk more about exams, I guess, in detail during our live synchronous session so that we know how to uh, go about those. Okay, so again, those are the four pieces that go into the gradebook. You have adaptive and static assignments that are both homework. Then you have quizzes, Ooh. and then you have exams. Okay, um, and that is, uh, that's Newton Alta. If you have any questions, reach out. Thanks.